doctors and the patients who are going to have to live under it. Hello, I'm Judy Biggert from uh, the great state of Illinois, and my phone has been ringing off the hook all week. Starting at 7.30 in the morning, that means my constituents have been calling at 6.30 in the morning to voice their concerns about this bill. I, I've, I can't believe that we have gotten this far. What, what my constituents are saying, we want to keep our health care. And, you know, the president promised that. If you like the health care plan you have, you can keep it. And that's not happening. I had an amendment in, in the one of the committees, Education and Labor. It was soundly defeated by every Democrat there. So we're not going to be able to keep our plan, they say. I say, that's right. We can't. We won't be able to do that. Why are we doing this when we can lower the cost, make it affordable for everybody? We can have accessibility for those that don't have health care now. And we can keep the quality of health care if we look at the alternative GOP plan. Thanks, Judy.